Do you need to send your PCB files to the fabrication house, but you don't know what files to generate in Altium Designer? In this video, I'll show you exactly how I generate Gerber and drill files in Altium to send for fab in such a way that you won't get your board bouncing back or delayed by the fabricator. Um, by the way, I'm Tech at Kirsch. I help electrical and electronics engineers use their EDA tools to be more productive at their job or in any projects you're working on. So like and subscribe if you want more videos to help you be more productive. This video is sponsored by Altium. A link is in the description below so you can get access to Altium or some special discounts. And I've also included an eCAD fit tool in case you're still trying to figure out which eCAD software is right for you. That link is for free in the description below. In Altium Designer, go to your project, then right click and add new to project. You wanna include this output job file. So what you wanna do now is right click and then save. Then call this something like fab one. Notice on the right, you have output containers. You can output files into a PDF if they have that PDF format, output them into a folder structure or into a video. Go to fabrication outputs, then select the add new fabrication output option here. Then let's go down to Gerber X2 files, choose Kame FMU, that's the name of my PCB. So you're gonna wanna select that. Then choose our settings. So you wanna double click on the Gerber X2 file setting or the name, then the settings pulled up. This setup allows you to choose your units, your decimal precision, the output file name extension. There are also other things like other settings, merge regions and pads inside footprint if you want. But the most important thing are your layers to plot. We are gonna need our board outline, copper layers, silk screen, solder mask, paste mask, and mechanical layers. You may or may not wanna include your fab outputs or any other mechanical layers, but this is what you got here. You may also wanna include drills, okay? Let's go ahead and click apply because those settings are good. Then we need to put these files in a container. We can't put them in a PDF since they are just text files essentially, but we could choose folder structure. Now, how do we want to put these into a folder? Well, we could set that by right clicking, choosing properties. Then you could do a release manage with these default settings. I do like these. And then you have output type and output name. Let's say you want to set these in a specific folder. Go to manually manage, click your folder, then say you want project outputs for the board. Select that folder and then now you have your default project folder for all of these. Next is you can include or not include any container folder. I like a container folder, so container type generate files or you know folder structure it could be whatever or a custom folder name let's say you want to call it fab okay or manufacturing click done then you can go deeper in here and choose the output type set a prefix for that name let's say you want to choose a the date that can be your prefix click done and then go to output name you can use original file names or use a custom output file name up to you, let's use original file names, click done. Now let's look at advanced. You want to check mark open generated output so you can view them in the cam editor. You can auto load certain things like NC drill output, Gerber output. You can also add generated files to your project and reset auto load options after generation. Click okay. Now we could put these files into our folder structure that we've just created. Click on this enable. It's a little button, radio button that's hard to notice. And those files will get put inside this folder structure. Next, we wanna add drill files specifically. So you're gonna click on here, go to your NC drill files, choose which board you wanna generate from, double click on the NC drill files option. Then you have all these settings. Choose which settings work for you and then click okay. Then you can click on the radio button and add that to your folder structure. Note that depending on how you structure your folder, these could all be in one folder, each in separate folders. You'll have to play around with the different options to know for sure. 
Last, I want fabrication drawings. Those would be in a PDF. So where can I generate that? Choose documentation outputs and underneath there, click add new. Then you want to choose composite. I'll choose the PCB where I'm selecting this composite drawing from. Double click so I can choose my settings. Then we're going to select the pages we want. I want to add a page of this multi-layer composite print. So let me go ahead and delete this page just so you can see how this works. Click on your down arrow and you get all these different preset options. Choose create final. Click yes. Then it gives you all these top, ground, layer two, layer four. So you can see all those. Now go ahead, click refresh. It generates all those pages on drawings for you. Look at that. Nice 24 page PDF that it's going to generate for us so we could see everything. You can go back to general, choose whatever selections and options you want. You could set this to mono or gray or color. See, take a look at the color. Then you go ahead and either click print if you want. So you can have it in a print file or click OK. Once done, we need to choose where to put this drawing into, and that's going to be in the PDF. Select this enabled option. Now you have pretty much all the files you need for fabrication. Go ahead and click generate content on the folder structure option. Your content gets generated. Cam will, the cam viewer will open your files like the drill file. You could save that if you want. I'm just going to close it and not save it. Close these other files. If you want to inspect them, that's fine. Now, where was this generated? Well, you can right click on here on the out job file, click explore, then look for project outputs for your board name or for free documents. Here we have fab and these are what got generated Our name that we put as a prefix NC drill. And those are our drill files, the prefix for our Gerber files. And that is in its own folder. Now you can right click and then compress to zip file. If your fabricator needs it in zip file format and so on. Very neat. Here we have the PDF, Let it has not been generated. Let's go ahead and generate it. You choose generate content. Then it gets pulled up by the your PDF viewer. Now there's one important setting. What if this doesn't get pulled up for you? What you need to do is right click properties, go to advanced, then choose open PDF file after export. Okay, that's how you set that. There are other settings here you can create, but that's pretty much it. And if you wanna find out whether it got generated, it shows you in the local path, project outputs for that fab1.pdf, right click explore, Let's go and double check to make sure that that got created. And sure enough, it did fab one. Okay. Once you're done putting together your project files, you want to zip these up in whatever format your fab house wants them and upload it to your fab house, whether that's Sierra circuits, JLC, PCB, PCB Bay, microfab, whoever. Now, I always check my Gerber files in a free viewer, especially the Camtastic viewer in Altium. If you want to learn how to do that, check out my other video where I show you how to view Gerber files in Altium Designer. Also, if you're doing full turnkey assembly or using advanced formats like ODB++, you'll want to generate more than just Gerbers. I'll break that down in a future video, so hit subscribe if you want that walkthrough. This video is sponsored by Altium, and if you want to try Altium Designer for free or get a discount, hit the link in the description. If you're still choosing the best tool for your needs, Altium, KCAD, OrCAD, whatever, I made a free eCAD fit guide just for that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.